Yeah? Team relaxed, everyone's relaxed. Shit, myself, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's changed? Just research. Research, boxing. Even like, like Fury, yeah? See that video of him before the Klitschko fight? Dancing. Yeah. Have fun. If you're good, you're good enough. If you ain't, you ain't. I can't control what the outcome will be, but up until that first bell, I'm confident, right? I can't control what happens when that first goal goes, but up until then, why am I worried? I've trained, I've, I've learned a lot along the way. Just go in there and have fun. So create an environment. It's just real, I'm not even taking the pressure off. Probably that's probably me dealing with it, but within myself, it's just me being honest to myself. What I've learned is um, I'm, I'm good, I work hard, I research. I do really like boxing. Um, I've walked this journey before. Huh? I'll all walk from the morning to the night. From the morning to the night. The only thing I watch at the minute is The Wire. That's the only other thing that I'm watching. Because <laughs> you know he just passed away, Omar. Yeah, he just passed oh, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's, that's what got me into it. wicked role in the Unbelievable role, so. I was just saying to all the boys that I said, this, this reminds me of when when we all used to move with Naz and big pussy over him. But we took the same gym environment yeah. wherever we went. So it was just a nice vibe. Same so, vibe. Nah, same vibe. Even in the dressing room before a fight, yeah. music playing, everybody just doing what you would do in the, at the gym or at home. So it was the same vibe, and that's why I kind of sensed it. Everybody smiling, everybody relaxed, everybody just doing the thing. Yeah, no, I was even watching, um, this morning I was watching um, Stuart talking about Naz and when he fought Pereira. And little things like they didn't do, they didn't do his research, they gave, HBO gave him videos, you know. That's what, that's what it, when he was doing it right, if he was doing it right, he said he would have beaten him. Yeah. And that's what you got to do. Well, that's what Rob, he keeps me focused. Well, I was training night and day to yeah. get there, and now yeah. I was messing it out. If you're on it, if you're on it, you've got a chance of winning. For the record, I was sitting there. Johnny there. Oh, oh, you what are you training you for? Let's get, <laughs> get down the beach. <laughs> last is why then, no, we just relying on power earning. That was all then. Yeah. That's the thing. And that's where, that's where, you know, in boxing, it's, it's got, it, it went down the way where it was all about power because you know, obviously the guys are getting stronger and stuff but you've also got to focus on your technical ability. Oh, how patient, how disciplined, how sort of tactically aware you are. In the, in, you know what I mean? And to, to box that, sometimes to box at a slower pace and be patient and pick your moments. Yeah. That, 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 that takes a lot of discipline to do that, especially when you want, you've got that in you to stand and have a go. Sort it in the third round, we'll do yeah. it. Very yeah. nice, yeah. you know? But it's like. That's something you've worked on and spoken a lot about. Yeah. So the, 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 the Ruiz fight was a must win. Must win. Must win. Must win because it was like, I didn't want to give anyone an excuse to say I'm not good enough. I know I was good enough and I said it, I said look, when I win I want everyone to bow to me and all that stuff. I knew I could beat the guy, I lost in the first one but I knew I'd get it back. In the second one, um, just drawing the experience from the past, like, we've been fighting like, for, for a while now, obviously the pandemic but we train, we practice and like in, in the Pula fight, I could draw on past experiences. You know when a fight is ready to go, you know when it's not, you know what shots are working. So you start kind of analysing, you know, you know how you're feeling in yourself as well. So it's all of that stuff. What's the difference, What's the difference Rob, in the last year and a half? He's just got more experience, so he's more relaxed now and calmer. You know, that's the key to it. Because, you know, when, you, when you're coming through, you, you tend to rush a little bit. You tend to think, if I just hit him with one hard shot, I'll slow him down. That, you, that leaves you then. You, you are, if you're more patient, that takes something to do because you, you, you let the other fella do things, but you've got to control him and, and just build off that and break him down. But you've got to do it over a period. You can't just rush him. How about your spine partners? Who do, who do you learn the most of? I don't want to disrespect any of the other ones. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying to learn the most of. So no, nah, all of them. I'm not going to say anyone. <laughs> do you still feel like you've got a point to prove? Like you've seen by relaxing stuff, but do you still feel like you've got to go? Personally. Yeah. Personally. yeah. I, I just realised like you can't make everyone happy. I prove a point and I beat one person and it's not good enough for the other. So I can't, I'm always going to have to prove a point if that's okay. Personally, yeah, definitely. I want to go in there and do what I know I can do. Where are you ranking music in terms of who you face? It's only relevant to the time. 
like when I fought a journeyman, he was the toughest opponent of my career at that time. Um, when I fought Klitschko, he was the toughest opponent. Now I'm fighting Usyk. It's just relevant to the time. But I'm much better now than I was back then. Well, would you say this is one? This is one of the more, more difficult fights, tactic wise, and that. Yeah, I mean. Josh knows Usyk, he knows how good he is, he's a quality fighter, he's undisputed curious way to have been his moved into heavyweight, he's had two heavyweight fights, but you know, if you're looking at defending your title, who's the best contender, it's Usyk at the moment, and that's a challenge that he wants to, wants to go ahead with, we think he's, he's more than capable of winning the fight, he did the right things in the training camp, he had good sparring, good preparation, so this is what the sport's all about, if the best don't fight the best, then Boxing fails. As many sparring partners you have, none is Usyk. Usyk's different. Yeah, there was one. one. Yeah, there was one. There's one very similar. <laughs> one very similar. <laughs> one very similar. <laughs> but that's the same for the just a different thing. That's the same thing. That's the same for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saw his sparring partner. Not you. I saw his sparring partner. I sparred most of his sparring partner. They're good. They're good. Were you there? Were you ever in some camp with him when he was there with Klitschko? Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Nah. I was there for his fight with Pule. You were there for the Pule. I was there for Pule. Fury. The Fury. That's smart because Fury switches. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. I think so. He said he learned a lot. Yeah, we all we all have. I learned a lot. Do you remember when I messaged you? Though? I, I swear. That. Saying when you're coming, I said right. You're going, you're going out to Klitschko. You, you said Klitschko. I said yeah, it'd be good for you. Go out there. I said you go, and I'll be out in two or three days. Just leave it. You know what? did I say? I said I said I messaged him. Yeah, and I was like. Rob, I think I can take him out, you know. <laughs> I swear to God, I sent him a message. I said, Rob, I would have probably got clamour trying to come in, yeah. Then, oh, boom, that still hammer. But um, that rawness. And he had that thick canvas. Yeah, right the legs out. Yeah. Oh my. I walked in there. That's what happened with Fury on the Yeah. yeah. But watch the Pula fight, you can see it. When you watch his fight with Pulis, you can see his feet like yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, is it, is it Fury got it ripped up. Yeah, yeah. alright. He hasn't yeah. been in touch with this fight though. He said to me, he like, messaged me and said, look, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm if you both good luck and I'm gonna stay impartial. And I said, I respect you and I respect that. And we'll catch up after. Have you had anything from Fury? Any message? Nah, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing actually. And do you think he beats Wilder? <laughs> look, I said yeah, Wilder's obsessed at the minute. You can't deny that he's obsessed and he want, he's like the way he's acting is like he's possessed. Um, okay, but no, while Fury will win, I was watching Andy Lee's interview last night as well. The Kronk star, isn't it? It's knockout. It's a knockout. They put that Tommy Hearns. He puts that left hand in your face and just follows up with a backhand. That's what they do, and that's what he's going to do. He'll constantly use that jab, put that lead hand in his face, and try and knock him out. So yeah, while he's possessed, he's got. He wants to train better, but you need you need a year of training before you can implement all that stuff that he's learned. Do you know what I mean? He'll try and put it into play, but I think he's gonna still go back to what he knew. But it takes a long time and a few fights before you can change a style. And I think Fury's just that little bit better, to be fair. Because skills, Fury's got the skill, and he's got a bit of power. Wilder's just got power. Last one. Spoke to Larry Holmes last night. Did you? So I said. Uh, <coughs> Who do you think wins? He said Joshua because I like his name. And his wife said, You damn idiot! It's definitely Joshua because here in the background. Seriously. It was funny though. He Tell him said, I was just watching him before I came. Yeah, he said, him versus, he said um, the jab he's having. Tell him the jab he's Yeah, that's what he always is, isn't it? <laughs> what did you say when you see him in Pennsylvania? He's going, I've seen him in Atlantic City and he's going up the escalator and I'm coming down and he's shouting over to me. Do they know about my jab in England? <laughs> 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 I thought I was talking about that. Like OG like. <laughs> he was a jab. He said like there was people following him around and that. Yeah, but he tipped you, but his wife, she knew you. She knew you'd say that. Yeah, I was watching him against Burbick on the way here. Like, um, he, he had his nice house. They said he ran a disco and a That's restaurant. Right. Yeah, he loved his daughter and all that stuff. Really good, really good fire. Really, really good fire. Underrated, very good. But that's the thing in this game, innit? You just gotta get out and be happy with whatever. That's it. It's when you come along, weren't it? After Muhammad Ali, it didn't matter how good he was, he was never gonna get the recognition. Yeah, it was a great fight. Ah, oh, a great, great fight. Because he missed that era, he never really got the recognition, did he? It was a great fight. Well, I say, these are the best times Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what I learned as well with the coping mechanism? Remember when you told me um, when we were doing the interview, and you said when you took your loss, and Brendan had to get everyone down to the gym, and he. He said, I'll pay you or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Look at how happy you are now. Yeah. At the time, that must have felt like the, the most important and worst thing in your life. But he's, I don't know what he's on about. The best days of my life have been since I retired. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. He was alone now. See this. He was <laughs> this, is, this, this. This is to me. I look at this. Is it? Great days. Trust me, I'm just like. Time, That's why I say you just got to get on with it. Like you got to take the good, the bad. It's just all part of it. It's your job. It's just having fun with it. Yeah. And I've that don't know you really but that's what the sparring partner said to me. He doesn't speak much English, but he, when I play at table tennis, he's like, smile, smile. And I said, he said, do everything with a smile in your face. He said, it makes it much easier. Life doesn't give you what you can't handle. Exactly. And so do it, whatever it is, do it with a smile in your face, and you'll get through. We sit here now and play that game. Quotes. Quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Everyone thinks I read from a script anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice script. <laughs> <laughs> nice script. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> what, what diet have you got your team on? You're fucking so ridiculous. I don't want to look at you. No fruit diet. I don't want to look at you. Through the pandemic, I just cut his uh, <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah. Just through, through the pandemic, I cut his check. That's it. Yeah. It's my last bite. <laughs> things are getting tired around me. Yeah, things are getting tired around me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.